and welcome to another Whip Wednesday. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Kiwi's Crochet Corner. I'm Adrian, and Kiwi is my Indian ring neck. Um, he's over there having some dinner right now. Um, because in our in, in in our time, it's actually uh, pretty late on Tuesday. Um, now, if you're not new to the channel, thanks for coming back. I always appreciate the support. Um, you know, uh, before I jump in to Whip Wednesday, though, I did want to let you guys know that, um, so my birthday is this month on the 20th of April. And so I decided for my birthday for the entire month, I'm going to put everything in my Etsy shop. 25% off as well as all of the patterns in my Ravelry shop. They will also be 25% off. Um, so I was hoping that if you guys get some time or you feel like checking either of those out, maybe you guys could pop on over there and maybe give some of my items a like. Um, no pressure, but you know, the more likes that an item gets, the more visible they are. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, and on Etsy I do have my crochet patterns, but I also have all my, my finished pieces as well. Um, and then on Ravelry, of course, it's just my patterns. Um, but I did want to let you guys know that I am running a 25% off of everything in both shops. And you can find the links for both my Etsy and my Ravelry in the description box if anybody is wanting to go over and check them out. Now, leaping right in to um, Whip Wednesday. Uh, well, I am still making beanies. I've got a stack here in a lilac color and a stack here in an evergreen color. I've made all of these just today. Um, let's see. Um, and if you're interested in this pattern, it is available on my channel and I'll link it below. It's just a preemie sized hat. Um, so I finished the really big order that I had, or at least I finished crocheting them. Um, and that one was for 170 beanies. I finished that one or crocheting them. Benjamin is still weaving the tail ends in for me. And then tomorrow we are going to go ahead and throw them in the wash on the gentle cycle, get them dried, dried out. Um, We'll just throw them in the dryer. It's acrylic. It'll be fine, um, you know, on low heat to throw in the dryer. Um, and then we'll start packaging those up to get shipped out. So then I got started this morning on the second order. And it's, an, it's for another 60 beanies, 30 in girl colors and 30 in boy colors. Now, I do have 15 pink ones already done that are like red heart super saver ombre um and so i have 15 in those and so the girl colors i've almost um i'm about halfway a little over halfway one two three four five six seven yeah so a little bit uh a little bit over halfway finished with the girl colors there's seven here um i have an eighth one started and with these Red Heart Super Savers, you can get these. I think these are the regular sized ones. You can get about 15, I think. I want to say it's about it's 14 to 15 of them, depending on your tension, um, out of one skein of Red Heart Super Saver. Um, now, these green ones... I think this yarn didn't have a label. Um, I know it's acrylic just by the way it feels, but I'm pretty sure it is um, Caron Simply Soft. And on my screen, they look almost black. I don't know if maybe I can 
get that to show up properly when I go to edit this video or not, but they do look much darker than what they actually are in person. Um, so I have 30, 30 beanies in the boy colors to make as well. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to finish that up. I mean, it doesn't, it sounds like a lot, but I should be able to finish it up within the next, you know, two or three days. Um, and then I'm hoping to get started, um, on making, uh, another one of my, uh, new hexagon, hexagon cardigans. Um, I had mentioned in several weeks back, um, in my Whip Wednesday video, I think it was, that I wanted to make that hexagon cardigan in each size so that I can see it, um, see what it looks like in each size before I go ahead and release the pattern. Um, Crystal from Hook That Yarn, she is working it up in a size 3X for me. Um, the tutorial is already filmed, but I'm not going to release the video tutorial until the written pattern is ready. Um, so, I mean, you guys have that to look forward to. Um, and I am working on, I might take a break from the cardigan, um, maybe to, uh, work on my travel imkin. Um, some of you guys may recall that, um, I had mentioned, uh, making, uh, a travel imkin. And at least that's what I'm calling it, um, using the book, uh, Crochet Imkins. And I have a plan for this, um, but I do need, I'm going to need participants. Um, so I may take a break from the cardigan to focus on that. Um, I'm not sure just yet. I mean, I guess, I guess it really depends on how, uh, how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, I've got so many things that I want to do with the channel and so many videos that I want to film for the channel, um, including, um, I'd like to do a series called Fiber Facts, um, you know, to teach people, um, maybe some facts about different fibers that they didn't know. Um, so hopefully in the next couple of days, couple of, couple of weeks, you guys will get to see some of that, um, on my channel. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to have more time to devote to the channel. Um, despite the fact that it means that I'm not going to have as much money in my pocket to spend, although I haven't been buying yarn, so, you know, but I have been buying other things like, you know, the, the hook case and the new yarn project bag. I won't have as much money to get that kind of stuff, but I will have more time to focus on the channel and I'm hoping to really put in a lot of time doing tutorials, um, and things like that. Um, so I don't know. That's kind of how things are going. Um, as far as whips go, I've, I've got a whole lot of different ideas. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of taking it one step at a time. I know that these last couple of weeks, I've felt like I haven't been able to finish anything. And now I'm finally starting to finish up some of those things like the beanie orders and the cardigan. You know, those were starting to get under my skin a little bit because I felt like I wasn't making any progress. Um, and you know, and now, now that I'm finishing those up, I've, I've got a lot of ideas coming up and, and I want to do those and, you know, <laughs> but, um, anyways, I really don't have too much more, um, for Whip Wednesday. I don't have any, you know, projects other than the beanies. Um, I do have to make a, uh, monthly makes video for you guys. And it's probably not going to be, it's going to be kind of boring because 
All I got finished for the month of March was one cardigan and lots of beanies. Um, so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> But, um, anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out with me, even if it were, f it was for just a few minutes. Um, please, um, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my content, please do me a super huge favor and give this video a thumbs up and, you know, um, maybe subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and, you know. If you have a person in your life that crochets and isn't familiar with my channel, point them in my direction. I love new subscribers. In fact, maybe I should make that the goal for the end of the year. Maybe by the end of the year, if I can get 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year, maybe that's what my long-term for 2024 goal should be, trying to get... 3,000 subscribers. That will be double what I currently have. I think that would be fun. Maybe, or, or y'all let me know in the comments, is that overreaching? Like, should I just go for like 2,000? I don't know. I feel like I need to set, now see, I'm, I said it out loud. Now I feel like I, I need to set myself like a goal to meet by the end of the year. Like, should I go with 2,000 or should I go with 3,000? I don't know. But I feel like I want to set like a subscriber count goal to meet by the end of the year. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for for hanging out with me. I'm sorry. Um, I know that you know Whip Wednesdays are not very long videos, but that's okay. Um. But uh, anyways, yeah, I suppose I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.